Okay, in this video I want to show you um, something called a, a normal loss uh, coefficient chart. It's a chart we use to figure out um, coefficients for the minor losses in our formula. Let me, let me write that formula down. Uh, remember our just total energy head equation is delta, oops, not writing, delta, the change in total energy head is equal to the summation of all the pump heads minus the summation of all the turbine heads minus the summation of all the frictional head losses. And for our frictional head losses we have two different types. We have the major and the minor. <clears throat> And the major, remember, it's it's the frictional factor L over D times the average velocity squared over 2G, I believe. Yeah. And the minor, H M for H minor, um, we just we say it's the summation of all the um, K, something called K times the average of velocity squared over 2G. And this K, we said um, to be the minor loss factor, or the minor loss coefficient. And remember, if you have a pipe, you have major losses due to the pipe length, and then you have minor losses due to devices in the pipe. So any, any losses here at the entrance, any losses maybe at, there was a valve the water went through, or the fluid went through, and maybe here was like, an elbow and it went into another pipe um, so you have minor losses from the entrance the devices within the pipe um, elbows and then you also have exit losses okay <clears throat> and for each one of those devices the elbows the turns the entrance the exits we um, summate all the major and minor losses and for all the minor losses we use this this formula k VA squared over 2G. Now, in order to figure out what that K is, we come to this table. Um, and this table, every book is different. This is just the table for my book. Um, we, we can figure out minor loss coefficients using this table. So say we had a pipe system and the pipe system had something, you know, it had, it had an entrance, so it just had a regular entrance. And then we had maybe a, I don't know, a fully open gate valve. And then <clears throat> if you go down, maybe it had a, I don't know, a standard elbow. And then it went off to another pipe. And then it exit there. So we have a gate valve here which is right here and we also have a standard elbow and say we were given the velocity of some fluid traveling in this pipe, right? The frictional head losses due to the minor um, losses, the minor losses includes the entrance, the valve, the standard elbow, and the exit in this case. Say we had a velocity V, okay? In order to find the minor losses, we'd have to figure out the head loss for the entrance, the valve, the standard elbow, and the exit. Now, since VA squared over 2G remains constant, we can just sum up all the K values and multiply it by the VA squared over 2g. Remember VA is just the average velocity. In this case it's just V. So we had an entrance loss and it looks like it's just a, a square edged entrance. On my chart here I see that the square edged entrance has a K value of 0.5. So for the entrance it would be 0 0.5 plus a gate valve that's fully open and if we look on the fully open gate valve, um, oh, it's different for each diameter. Let's say it was just a one inch screwed gate valve that was fully open. The K value would be 0 0.24. <clears throat> 0 
24 plus the standard threaded elbow and again let's just say it's it's a one inch diameter and it's a screwed uh, standard elbow. The K for that is 1.5 and then the exit loss here on my chart the pipe exit is 1 for any type of pipe exit so it doesn't matter if the exit is rounded or it's squared um, my chart is saying that the pipe exit loss coefficient K is going to be 1 for any case okay and so it would be um, just 1 right plus 1 times the V squared over 2G okay oops you can't I don't think you can see that times V squared over 2G that's what I just wrote down so if you add all this up multiplied by the average velocity squared over 2G you would get the minor losses associated with this system and you would add that to the major losses associated with this system. Remember, major losses are associated with pipe length. So they, they, major losses, you don't have to worry about the entrance, the devices, whether there's valves, elbows, um, <clears throat> and, and anything else. It's, it's just pipe length. So in this, in this video, we're just looking at this table. And all this table gives us is the K values for this formula right here. Okay, and the reason um, I just summed up all the k values here and then multiplied by v squared over 2g was because um, the velocity average was the same at the entrance, at the valve, at the elbow, and at the exit. So I, I took that out, and of course 2g is constant, so I took that out as well. Um, summed all the k values, remember it's a summation of all the frictional head losses, and then multiplied by v squared over 2g. And then the next example, um, we'll get to use this um, along with the Moody chart and um, some of the major losses, minor losses, and um, hopefully all that fits together well.